we're back on the roof. So we got this uh, old carrier unit here. It's got some Johnson controls attached to it, which we do not have any access to it, but uh, basically there's a no cool call. Um, so obviously it's not cooling. I don't hear the compressor or the condenser fans running. So first things first is we want to see uh, if we have voltage. Uh, we should be getting low voltage since the fan's running. Okay, so we have voltage between R and C. Let's see if we're getting a call for for cooling. And we are. All right, so let's see if we're getting Y2. That's second stage cool. No, just first stage. All right. Well, one thing about these things is you see that X right there? Yeah, so it, that should we should be not getting 24 volts from that. No voltage from here. Okay, we are. So that means we got a lockout relay has been energized. So it's gonna be one of these guys over here. So now we gotta see which one it is, and then we'll go from there. Usually killing the power will reset it, but we need to find out which one it is. That way we can identify, you know, what's what tripped it. A good way to test it is we go from common to two. So we are receiving our call. As you can see there, we're receiving the call. And if we go two to three, we should be getting no voltage. So yeah, there's no voltage there, okay? And then if we check our X terminal, we are getting 24 volts because it's engaged. I don't know if you can see that, I'm on focus guy. Yeah. All right, so we're back in the garage. I just wanted to talk about the CLO a little bit better than I did on the field. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and also flash up a uh, schematic of how this thing's wired. All right, so as you can see, uh, you basically have five main things you need to know about. So you have this guy right here. This is going to be measuring amp draw. So you'll have a wire from the compressor running through there. Okay. You're going to have one, two, and three and X. Okay. So one is a common. Two is your, is your Y. So that's going to be your call for cooling. Three is going to come out 24 volts. So basically Y and it's going to go through the pressure switch, the high pressure, the low pressure, and then into the contactor. All right, and then the other side of the contactor will be a common, which will also connect to one. Okay, now X, what is that? Well, we're gonna explain this. So, what ends up happening is, you receive 24 volts from Y, right? It's gonna go from the thermostat to the terminal, then from the terminal into two. Okay, so it's got a little logic circuit on it. It's gonna say, okay, I'm receiving a call for cooling. Um, so it's gonna send the 24 volts out of three. It's gonna go through the low pressure switch. It's gonna go through the high pressure switch. It's going to hit the contactor. Okay, now remember, this is going to happen like at the speed of light. Okay, so what's going to end up happening is it's going to close the contactor. Now, this thing has one second. Once, once all this has happened, uh, it's got to detect at least 0.5, well, over 0.5 amps for it to continue. Okay, so if for some reason one of those pressure switches has been tripped, that means the 24 volts will go into Y, or I'm sorry, go into 2 out of 3, but then it's gonna stop. It'll never make it to the contactor. So when that happens, the contactor won't close, so there's gonna be no amps, right? Because it's not calling for the compressor. So this, it's gonna know, it has 24 volts at two, so that means I should be getting, you know, 0.6 amps at least, minimum 0.6 amps, but nope, nothing's there. So what's gonna happen is this guy is gonna lock out. Now the way this works, the way it's wired, as you can see in the schematic, is you have a normally closed switch between two and three, okay? That's always closed. When this is not tripped, it's closed. But then there's also a normally open switch, which goes between two and X, okay? So, if this receives 24 volts to two, and it doesn't detect amps, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna pop open that uh, normally closed switch between two and three, and it's gonna close uh, the switch between 2 and X, okay? So what will happen is it will not call for the contactor. So the contactor will not receive any 24 volts, so it's going to basically lock out that compressor. Everything else will turn on, but the compressor won't even try, okay? And what's going to end up happening is you're going to get 24 volts, which is going from Y into 2, right? But instead of coming out of 3, it's going to come out of X, right? Because we close those switches. So when you go to the, ter the, the actual terminal connection point, you're gonna see an X terminal. So if you go X to common and you have 24 volts, this guy has been tripped, 
Now, if you go X to common and it's and there is uh, nothing and you're receiving a call for cooling, this is not tripped. Okay, so keep in mind this only receives 24 volts if it's getting a call for cool. So if there's no call for cool, this guy is basically not doing anything. All right, so you have to make sure that you're getting voltage between Y and common. If you are, the next thing you want to check is X in common. Do you have 24 volts at X in common? Yes, you do. This is trip. If you don't, well, then you got something else going on. Yeah, so we just got a call for cool, and I heard that thing make a noise, and we got uh, voltage between C and X again. So we got to see what's going on with that. It's like immediate. I heard the, the contactor close for two seconds, and then it just popped. So we might have a bad compressor. Okay, so I think we found our problem. Check that out. Um, the, sha the, the hubs off the fan blades ripped off and just the motor's spinning. Interesting. So that could have caused a, a high pressure situation which caused the CLO to click. But the next question is, is why is it tripping immediately? Hmm. Yeah, now would you look at that? Looks like those fan blades need to be replaced. Yeah, those motors are red hot. So that's interesting, and it's both of them too. Look at the other one over there too. Crazy. All right, well, that's one problem. All right, so check this out. I just noticed this. Um, yeah, look at that. So the blade completely wore away the shaft. And it's like, this one's really bad. The other one, same thing. Uh, not as bad, but it's still pretty bad. Let's check that out. Yeah, so we're going to have to change the motors, both motors, fan blade. So in the meantime, I'm going to disconnect the Y connection. That way it doesn't energize those fans to make it worse. Um, and then uh, when we get back, we'll reconnect it because uh, they'll still need heat for the evenings because uh, it does get pretty cold here at night. So I don't want to just leave it completely off. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the cooling. Anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.